Hey guys, this is the Epic Gamer Boy here, and today we're gonna be showing you guys how to downgrade your i, how to downgrade your iPad 4 from iOS 10.3.3 to 8.4.1. This method works with pretty much all A5 devices and A6 devices except for the iPhone 5C. So, without further ado, let's get started. So, right now I'm using an iPad 4 because. Um, I mean, I could try this with my iPhone 5, but the thing is that the iOS 8 is pretty buggy on the, on the iPhone 5, well, especially when it's downgraded. So, that's why I'm trying with the iPad 4. So, so as you guys can see, Panda Helper did got unrevoked like today, and I got Panda Helper here. I jailbroke it, so first you go to Cydia. Yeah, shouldn't take that long to load since it's an iPad 4, and this has the A6X chip in it. Then you search your files are. Okay, by the way, this iPad is fully reset, so... So, so I mean, it's just for this video here. For this video here. So, yes, this is the one you need to install, confirm. See, look, this is a lot faster than, like, the... This is, this is a lot faster than the iPad 2 and 3. <laughs> like I can go back and forth at any time. All right, after that, you go back and you can see files is like right here. So here's the things you need to do. So you need to go back to here. You, you go to system, library, and then you go to core services right here and then you scroll down until you see system version play i don't know how to read that but p list anyways um you go to here i mean at least you guys can see what it says so yeah all right, so here it is. So the product build version, you need to put it to 6.1.3. It's like tricking the device thinking that it's on iOS 6. Oh, wait, one, another thing is that this needs to be 10B329. Okay, there we go. You guys can see that now. So this is the things you need to put in here. Save, done. All right, now wait. Now you reset the. I mean, now you 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 turn the device off. You restart the device. Oh yeah. Also, um, when when you turn it off and restart it, you'll see this thing going on. It's pretty. It's actually pretty normal. Cause it's actually pretty normal. This is one of the easiest downgrade methods I know how to do, cause, cause jailbreaking with three U tools is like so hard for me. So that's why I have to like wait ages to f for Panda Helper to be unrevoked. So, yeah. Plus, I've been using Panda Helper for like one and a, for like over a year, or actually one and a half year, I actually. So, yeah. So yeah. All right, now the iPad is restarted. You, you can see I don't I, I don't want to show the serial number this time. You can see six point one point three, even though it's on iOS ten still. But now it should show iOS eight point four point one there. Yep. And then you press download and install. Agree. And there you have it. I'm not gonna be waiting. I mean, I. Like I said, I'll I'll still cut through the video, and but I but I'll just but I'll still cut through the videos, and yeah, this iPad has plenty of power, so so it should not so it should so it should be able to download this, so yeah, I will get back to you when when it's ready to install. Alright guys, so um, 
that so it's ready to install now you press install and then it should be able to update so yeah finally you see that didn't take that long as it did before so yeah now it's trying to up so yeah you see this method is like really easy like like ever since like tw like ever since like hmm, ever since like 2020 I I've been doing research on jailbreaking older iPhones I've been doing research on like jailbreaking older iPhones and then it was hard for me until I find until I finally figure out there was a website called Panda Helper which is which is easier and which is actually pretty easier than like any other websites I use from like those tutorial videos. Like, like another thing I remember is that back in like early 20, 2020, I had an iPad mini one and I did try to jailbreak that, but the thing is that, but this, this but the thing is that I didn't know what Panda Helper is. So I just used some other like websites to do it, which didn't know that anything could happen, but but yeah, until later out, I, when I found out Panda Helper, I was like, <laughs> okay, the next old, old, older iPhones or iPad like it, I'll just use Panda Helper. And then ever since then, I just start, when I start collecting like iPhone 4, 4Ss and stuff, I just start using Panda Helper to do the jailbreaks. And yeah. See, well, yeah, but th this method is like really, Easy. Um, yeah, this method is like really easy, and this is a pretty su successful. So, yeah. All right. After another while, as you can, as you can see that this is on iOS eight now. Hold on. Let me connect this to Wi Fi. Okay, don't worry guys, it wouldn't take that long. Alright, so now and and there you go. But there's one more thing you need to do. You have to go to settings and reset everything again because hmm, because because that version of iOS is it is not that is not that stable. So yeah, after another reset, then it's good to go. And this time, I'll I'll try to set it up on the setup screen so I can prove to you that it's fully downgraded to iOS eight point four point one. So yeah. And there you go. Here's proof that this is full. So as you guys can see here, this iPad now is on iOS 8. I, iOS 8.4.1 here, slide to unlock. And there you go, 8.4.1. Well, that is it guys. This is a tutorial of how to downgrade your iPad 4, iPhone 4, or and or all of the A5 devices to iOS 8.4.1. This is over here like really easy and let me know in the comments below if you have any questions about doing this but but note that for the A6 devices it only works with the iPhone 5 and the iPad 4 because those were released in 2012 and the uh, iPhone 5C was released in 2013 so so yeah but on pretty much all the A5 devices, this method works. So, yeah. Anyway, guys, this is it for this video here. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and see you guys next time. Bye.